In this tutorial, we are going to solve problem number 3-172 from Chang'e Book, 3rd edition. The 280 kg 6-meter wide rectangular gate shown here is hinged at point B and leans against point A on the floor, making an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal. The gate is to be opened from its lower edge by applying a force F normal at its center. Determine the minimum force F required to open the gate. Okay, so this is the diagram. We are asked to calculate the force F. We know that to obtain the value of F, we are going to apply the equation of equilibrium. We are going to choose point B and then for the equilibrium of moment. Uh, but before that, we need to know all forces applied to this gate. So let's draw the free body diagram. So this is uh, the gate. We know that the shape of the gate is rectangular. Uh, for a rectangular gate, the centroid will be right in the middle here. Or in the case 2D, the centroid will be in the middle of this bar. Let's name the centroid point C. If we assume that the material of the gate is uniform, the center of the gravity of the gate will be at the same location as the centroid. So the weight will be produced from this point C. It is directed downward and the value according to the problem is 280 kilogram or equivalent to 2746.8 Newton. Now let's see the reaction force at A. The floor blocks the gate to move downward. In that case, the reaction force at A will be vertically upward. At B, the hinge block the gate to move either horizontally or vertically. So the reaction force will be in horizontal and vertical direction. Here we choose right and upward. If there is no friction at B, the gate can swing freely about point B. So there is no reaction moment at B. Now let's see the pressure distribution on this right side of the angle uh, of the gate. For that, let's uh, extend the surface of the gate until it reaches or uh, intersects the water surface at point O. From point O, we are going to draw a right triangle. And then we draw the pressure distribution from A to B. And then we calculate the resultant force FR. FR here is applied at point P. P is the center of pressure. FR is resultant force or total pressure. If we assume that the atmospheric pressure X in every part of the gate so it will cancel each other hence we can calculate FR using this equation one more thing when the gate start to open start to rotate here rotate about point B, it means the contact at A will be reduced. This part will be lifted 
This is due to the increasing force at F. The increasing force at F will reduce the reaction force at A. And when the gate lose contact with the floor, the reaction force at A will be zero. So this is our free body diagram, the final free body diagram. Now let's see this equation. Fr, we are going to calculate the resultant force, but now we are going to see what the, uh, what components that we have already. We are dealing with water, so rho is 1000 kg per meter cube. The, center, the gravity acceleration is 9.81 meter per second square. Yc is the distance from C to O that's the inclined distance the, uh, the vertical distance will be AC that is the vertical distance from point C to the water surface theta is 45 degrees that's the angle formed by the gate with the horizontal so either here uh, this angle will be the same AC can be calculating, calculated by observing this, the dimension given. So AC, at point C is the middle between A and B, so vertically it will be 3 over 2. So the distance from point C to the water surface will be 3 over 2 plus 0 0.5, which is 2 meters. Now the area, the gate is, has rectangular shape. The width, according to the problem, is 6 meter, and the length, we know the vertical length is 3 meters, so the length of the gate will be 3 over sine 45 equals to 4.24 meters, giving the area equals to 25.6 meters square. So now we have everything. We have all the components of this equation. We put the values inside and we obtain the resultant force equal to 502.3 kN. What we observe here is that this value is much bigger compared to the weight. This is 500.2 kN. This is 2.7 kN only. Now we calculate the location of the center uh, of the uh, resultant force, which is the center of pressure point P. Point P can be calculated using this equation representing YP. YP is the distance from point P to point O. We can also calculate HP, where HP is the vertical distance from point P to the water surface. We have the relation between HP and YP. HP equal to YP sine theta. The moment of inertia IXXC means it is the moment of inertia about axis XX passing through point C. So according to our lecture, for this rectangular case, Rectangular shape, the moment of inertia is AB cube over 12. So for our case, the A will be 6 meter, the B will be 4.24 meter. So the moment of inertia about axis X, X passing through point C will be 38.11 meter in the power of 4. YC can be calculated knowing AC. We have calculated previously AC equal to 2 meters, so YC will be AC over sine 45, which is 2.83 meter. So we have all the components to calculate this one.
So we put all the values, we obtain YP equal to 3.36 meter. Okay. Now, the final part of the calculation is to calculate F. We apply the equilibrium of the gate. Only one equation that we are going to use, which is the equilibrium of moment. And we choose point B. Because if we choose point B, we can eliminate the necessity to calculate BX and BY since the distance from B to these two forces uh, is zero. Okay, So we have the sum of all moment about point B equal to zero. Here we choose the convention positive for anti-clockwise. If we apply this equation of moment to this case, we have W times the distance, right distance from W to point B, that is BC cosine 45, directed anti-clockwise, so positive, plus FR times the distance from B to point P, minus F times the distance from B to point C. So we need to calculate all these distances. BC cos 45 is equal to BC sine 45. The angle 45 means cos equal to sine. And then if we see this one, if we see this triangle, BC cos 45 is this one, BC sine 45 is this one, and then the value since point C to B is 3 over 2, 1.5 so BC cos 45 equal to 1.5 meters uh, from here we can calculate BC which is 1.5 over cos 45 that is 2.12 meters BC is this distance for BP we see this triangle from P to P We have calculated YP. YP is from O to P, but what we need is B to P. It means B to P is YP minus OB. For OB, we see this triangle. We have this vertical distance equal to 0 0.5, and the angle is 45 here. So OB will be 0 0.5 over sine 45 that is 2.65 meters so we have BC cos 45 we have BP we have BC we have W we have FR the only thing that we don't know is F so we put all the values into this equation we rearrange to calculate to obtain F and we obtain the force F equals 629.78 kilonewton. Again, this force is much bigger than the weight of the gate. So mainly this force is due to this water pressure. Okay, so for this, with this we solve the problem.